Wilbur was a visitor to the Back Controls Railway. He had been brought in to help Donald and Douglas by doing work on Duck's branch line, and had to spend a few days on Thomas. Duck was pleased to see him, and double-headed his passenger train to show Wilbur the line. That evening, Wilbur told the engines all about his incidents from Thomas's branch line. Oliver wasn't impressed. Ha! Huh, just an industrial engine to be so clumsy, he joked. Mistaking a milk pipe for a water pipe? What a joke! Come now, Oliver, snapped Duck. You can hardly speak. I remember you ending up in the turntable well as a result of your boasting. I was a novice back then, replied Oliver. Over here has had years of experience, yet he still goes and makes a mistake. Remember this, young Wilbert, he said grandly. This branch line has no room for troublesome engines. We're a gateway for funnel out troublemakers. You'll see. Duck snorted indignantly. Wilbur just chuckled and took it in his stride. The next day, Wilbur shunted trucks to the small railway's chute. So you're glad that only the Douglas are getting the help they need, said Bert. They have been worked off their wheels something awful. Then don't rely on Wilbur here to be of much help, put in Oliver. I'm afraid to say that he's rather forgetful and picks up all the wrong things. Really? What does that mean? grumbled Mike. Wilbur smiled and explained about the milk. The small engines were rather sympathetic, but Oliver hooted with laughter. Huh! It's the same as being unable to tell left from right, he chortled. Ah, just watch me, Wilbur. I'll show you how good's work is done. Later that day, Oliver took a goods train to the big station back. Most branch lines now have turntables so that engines can see where they are going. But Oliver had the time to turn around. If an engine can do their run back to the station, it's said to be good luck. Oliver soon reached the big station yard right on time. Worn in the headlamp on that Wilbur, he said. He left the trucks in the yard and was soon off with his return train. Along the way he had to stop at the middle station to pick up more trucks which sat on the siding. But as they were preparing to couple them on, the station master came up. Sorry lads, the lawyers that were meant to bring the goods to be loaded are delayed. We'll just have them delivered by someone else. Excellent, said Oliver. There's no time to waste then. <laughs> Oliver soon reached the end of the line. When his crew got up, they were shocked. Where's the brake man? What are you going on about? asked Oliver. Then he looked back. Oi, where did that brake van go? Oliver and his crew were most concerned. Then they remembered. Oh no. A few minutes later, Wilbur arrived with a goods train, but Oliver was missing brake fan in tow. Yeah, I must say, Mr. Oliver, began Toad, that I do not approve of you leaving your brake vans behind. Well, it, uh, Oliver was without words. Ours says he uncoupled the van for shunting, said Wilbur. When you learned that you didn't need to collect the other trucks, apparently he forgot to couple the van back on. Wilbert said no more, but that evening when Duck came home, he was grinning a bit too brightly. Well, 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 he chuckled. I heard that you went and left your brake van behind this afternoon. It's so unlike you, Oliver, to be forgetful. We have no room for troublemakers on this branch line, but then again, we have one of our bigger problems before, haven't we, Oliver? Oliver gritted his teeth and refused to answer as both Duck and Oliver grinned in delight. Oliver never mentions trouble anymore. It's something he's sure to never forget. Thank you.